Well, April is Donate Life Month, so today we are going to learn about why it is important to donate organs if you are able and what it means to help save a person's life who needs the transplant. Who better to educate us than kidney donor Judith Blair and liver recipient Diane Miller. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you thank for you. having us. So, Diane, let's start with you and your story and your need for a liver and the transplant. Uh, I came down with acute liver failure and uh, was literally at uh, death's door at the very end, which was the beginning, and was helicoptered uh, to Phoenix where I was given a transplant 45 days later. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. So I know that we were talking on break about the transplant games, which sound like so much fun and a great way to get everybody together. So will you tell us more about that and how you became involved, Diane? Well, I became involved because it's uh, closure and all about the donors. I wanted to know about my donor family, and then I wanted to honor them. And then I wanted to make sure that everybody else got as excited about the transplantation and everything as I was. And I found out about these games. Every state sends a team, and we all get together. You make friends, and you honor the donors, and you learn a lot about transplantation and how it's going through all the 50 states. And Judith, you as well are going to be going to the games, and you were on the right. opposite side. You were a donor, correct? That's correct. So tell us about that story. Okay, I donated a kidney 15 years ago to a professor at U of A, and less than 90 days later, I ran the 50, 100, and 200 meter sprints in Senior Olympics. Oh my gosh. And back then, they weren't allowing donors to participate in the transplant games, so I ran in Senior Olympics, and I promoted organ donation in Tucson, Phoenix, St. George, Utah, Vegas, and Ut Houston, mm -hmm. and had the privilege of being on a, in a press conference with my son in Pesaro, Italy, um, and we, pro promoting the cause. And we, of course, know your son, if someone by chance does not know who your son is. Your son is Joseph, right? Joseph Blair. Yes. <laughs> you, you just name drop it like, you know my son. Yeah, you know my son. You know my son. <laughs> well, so we know you're a runner, and uh, Diane, we know you're a swimmer. So tell yes. us about the different activities that will be involved in the games. Uh, it, they're the same uh, venue as the real Olympics. Mm -hmm. And then we have some uh, passive uh, ones too. We've added dancing, which is great. Uh, we have ping pong, badminton, uh, bowling. So there are a variety of sports and something for everybody uh, to enjoy and get to know other recipients and donors too. Again, it's all about the donors. Right. Yes, and so we have a 22 team a uh, member team yes. trying to go to the games, and you guys yes. are trying to, to fundraise for this, right? Yes, we are. Right. Yes, we are, because it's expensive. You have your round-trip airfare, and then you have the week in the hotel and your food. And uh, yes, we are looking for donations. So then how can people get that to you? Uh, they can give it to it on our uh, website, transplantteamarizona.org. Uh, Great. Right, okay. there's PayPal on there, and this will be in Cleveland, Ohio in June. Right. And I'm privileged that we didn't mention, we mentioned the games, mm -hmm. but um, I wrote a song called The Gift of Life many years ago, and there's lyrics for life contest this year, and I'm one of 15 semifinalists in that. So on Joseph's birthday, June 12th, <laughs> I'll be singing at the Cleveland Convention Center, so I'm excited about that. Well, that is amazing. Sharing. You're doing everything from singing to running to swimming. You guys, your whole team is, is super involved. And we want to support the team coming from Arizona, as well as, like you said, the donors and everybody having an opportunity to come together. So we want to go on the website. We want to make sure that we, um, you know, get those donations in. And again, this is in June. So we want to try to make those donations soon. Right. And we encourage people to be different donors, too, to sign up for that. I was aghast at how many thousands of people are just waiting for a phone call to live, yeah. waiting for a, a life-saving transplant, so we encourage people to donate. Again, it is all about the donors, and, and oh, it it's is. all about you know the big picture here, and this is just one way we're going to help people. I think it's wonderful, and ladies, I can't thank you enough for joining us this morning to tell us more about it. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to give our viewers all of that information again, so if you would like to support the team, make a donation today to send them to the games in Cleveland. Just visit transplantteamaz.org and click on the Donate button.